Uh, this is pretty damn depressing. <clears throat> I um, I just got back from surgery uh, very recently, and um, yeah, it's not been easy, man. You know how it is when uh, you know stuff's been put on hold in your life, um, and this surgery has been an example of that. Uh, it's you know I'm still kind of cast right now. I can't really paint. What you're seeing right now is me attempting to paint. Uh, with this cast on, this kind of oh, this whack on pen strapped to my uh, my cast with cell tape. It looks um, <laughs> it looks stupid as hell. I'll see if I can get a picture of it to put up on the the video. Um, but yeah, man, you can see I'm trying to paint with this damn thing on, and it's not looking good. I'm I'm painting paint a thumbnail that should be taking one tenth the time, and it's taking you know hours to do, which is kind of depressing. Uh, but, you know, these are the moments you need to kind of look and just say to yourself, you got to be patient. It's just one of those things. Um, I missed yesterday's upload date just because um, I was in surgery. Um, but, yeah, man, uh, it's pretty damn difficult. And, you know, um, people around me have been telling me to just take it easy, um, use this time to rest, you know relax, recuperate, that kind of thing. And that kind of thing is very uh, difficult for me, you know? Um, and so, you know, an event like this is not the easiest thing to handle, especially when I can't work out either. Um, I want to try and get back in the gym tomorrow. Uh, do some squats, can't do much upper body work right now. Um, you know, see if I can not even make progress on the squats, just, you know, bang them out, get some endorphins in my, my head right now. Because um, they're running pretty low. Uh, you know, I'm trying to, maybe tomorrow the pain will be um, less severe so I can actually get back to studying, painting, you know, doing stuff I want to do. And I'm looking at the brush strokes I'm making on the screen right now and they're just like, uh, it's like I've been, it's like I've regressed years, you know, which can be pretty hard to see, but obviously you got to take it in your stride. Um, yeah, man, it's not, it's not an easy time right now, um, but, you know, I have to keep telling myself that it's not going to last a long amount of time, uh, yeah, what else to say, really, I guess I can kind of plan for what I want to do tomorrow, uh, maybe some, I don't know, maybe some draftsmanship, using this kind of new arm rig, work on pen thing that I've got set up, um, Honestly, man, it looks like something out of a Mad Max movie. It looks so janky. Um, but that's all I've got right now. I can't release my fingers because it's uh, a little bit too painful. Um, yeah, hopefully the pain will be less tomorrow because that's the main thing stopping me from painting, apart from the fact that I can't use my fingers. Um, it's the pain when I'm actually trying to paint. It can be pretty excruciating. Um, but, yeah. What I've noticed about this whole sci-fi armor design thing, what I've learned from, oh shit, I've got my phone. What I've learned from all the studying is um, the kind of number one, the contrast really needs to be there um, between the kind of outer casing, you know, the kind of almost the armor, so to speak, and the inner kind of machine works. Um, that kind, of, the stuff on the inside, I kind of add later, ironically. Even though it's on the underside, right? You'd think you'd um, like layer it up in layers with where the with the um, the underside kind of machine um, chassis coming first, and then the kind of armor plating stuff on the outer, some coming later. But um, I found you know um, it depends on the kind of design you're creating, I suppose, because if it's going to be taken up mostly by you know plating, then um, you can kind of do that first, I suppose. And plus, it kind of allows you to get the general, you know, big shapes that are going to appear on the final design down first. Um, what I've also noticed and what I've been told um, is to kind of try and marry the functionality with the actual aesthetic design, right? Which is not always easy. What I've, you know, what I've grown accustomed to doing is to just kind of throw down shapes and hope for the best, right? And that is not the best strategy i found. Um, you kind of need to... Um, take into account the functionality even if it's not the main kind of driving force behind the design it still needs to be there because at the end of the day this is gonna, this concept is gonna have to be taken forward 
into a game or a movie or whatever and it's okay if you know it's not 100 percent functional because you know some clipping or some you know so, there's some allowance in the area but um you still needed to look like it could work right which i think is why you do need to kind of study functionality and study um you know these kinds of more not boring but more kind of technical aspects of sci-fi and, and technical design and that kind of thing um, because you know they can really uh lend a sense of uh, believability to your designs right um and so you can see you know where the arm is where the, sh- where the arm kind of connects to the shoulder there's kind of going to be a space there where the joints need to move there's kind of going to be spaces um where there needs to be like rotation of the joints there might be like kind of wheel elements or cog elements or spinny elements for lack of a better word um you can see i've kind of done that near the hip and near the um, arms right or the shoulders rather and then around the neck area it's kind of got this um well, it's going to have this kind of more elastic rubbery material that will allow the head to kind of move in position, right? And this is just stuff I picked up from, you know, studying various designs, studying various, uh, mainly like machine designs, right? You know, like mechanical arms, that kind of thing, and just other kind of robots and that kind of thing. Um, and yeah, man, it's, um, the study's been going well, but... It's just very slow right now because, you know, my hand's in a flipping cast. Um, but, you know, I'm taking it as it is. Um, hopefully I'll be able to recover pretty fast. I should be able to. Um, I just got to make sure I don't, don't take it too fast because um, I've done that before when I've been injured and it's not ended well. You have to kind of take it. You have to kind of be patient with it, which is not my strong suit, I have to admit. Um, but, yeah, man, hopefully... Uh, I'll be able to get back to drawing more soon. Because I'm drawing a lot right now. It's just extremely damn painful. It's extremely damn slow. Uh, the process is just not what it used to be. Um, and maybe I'm, you know, overhyping this because it is only going to be a few days. And that this will be, um, you know, affecting me. Maybe more than a few days, maybe a few weeks. Um, but either way, it's um, it's been pretty damn depressing. But, you know, we'll get through it. Yeah. And that's about all for this video. Yeah, cool.